Welcome to Flashback Friday. I have myself a drum majorette set. And as you can see over here, the one on the left is pretty much vintage tattered. Uh, you can see some color coming out of the velvet material. But the gold tone trim is nice. And the skirt is g giving way. The elastic is falling apart. But nonetheless, she is very special and very beautiful. I do believe that I got this doll dress just like I got these other two. These two came from the same seller. And uh, they were completely dressed. I don't know what happened to Alan's hat. I do have his hat. But I postponed showing them last week. And I've been looking for his hat. And But luckily I found Barbie's hat and her baton. Her baton is made out of tiny little gold glitter. And... I don't know what happened to the end. I think when I had my squirrel Reggie in the house, I think he got to start biting it. So that's when I decided to put them away. And I was luckily able to find these. So the way it goes for me, when I look for one thing, I'll find something else. So the hat's going to appear soon enough. All I have to do is look for something else and I'll find the hat or Alan's hat. But I have chosen to do my Flashback Friday with this wonderful set and I just couldn't be happier. When I, de not decided, but when I noticed that there was two looks when I was really, really new with Barbie and Barbie collecting, I noticed that these Barbies right here were being sold for lower and that's because they were being described as a greasy face and she came the way you see her now and uh, with no lips no color in her lips my other uh, bubble cuts and some other vintage Barbies have white lips so they have those other ones have become oxidized but with these first issue I think their first issue, yeah, because they have a very small head compared to other bubble cuts. And let me take a look over here. But I did clean them up and I recorded uh, cleaning them up and fixing them. This one, I just wiped her down and I'm very, very careful to wipe around their eyebrows and their eyes and makeup because with these greasy face dolls the makeup comes out also when you wipe them and that's what happened to this one and I did a touch up and I documented that it's going to come out tomorrow as a separate little uh, slightly over a minute video of how this blonde one look and I went ahead and did a touch up and you can see the before and after. So make sure uh, you're able to see that if you like to see before and after videos. But I love glitter. I love shine. I love anything that catches your eye. Of course, color. But these gold metallic um, uh, costumes here for Barbie and for Alan or Ken... I just had to get them. It took me a while to get them, um, but I'm happy, you know, things that are meant to be, they happen when they're ready for you. So these I did get uh, close to 10 years ago and I've had them ever since. And Alan is also looking pretty greasy there. He really is greasy face. So let me know if you have an Alan. I think I just have two. Let me know if your Alan has a uh, greasy face, uh, plastic syndrome too. So hopefully I was not uh, holding the my finger on the microphone. So let me know if your Alan if you have an Alan if he has a greasy face too. So 
Yeah, one of the things that I love is anything gold metallic, anything shiny, anything glitter, anything uh, like uh, crystal prisms. I love. So this, along with the color of it being red, I love. So these girls have their boots, their original boots. And Barbie here has her nylons. I think you can see them. I am trying to get in there very carefully and not to be shaking the my recorder or my little recording medium but um, this one is in excellent condition you can see over here the elastic on the skirt is uh, intact her the material here is a uh, light velvet that is intact and when I put the hat on the elastic was uh, still uh, elastic -y or it still had a a tug and pull so as I was talking about these bubble cut Barbies besides them having a greasy face they are so beautiful so cute these original ones because they have a smaller uh, smaller mold a smaller face and I in my opinion I believe they are so so beautiful so thank you for joining me on this Flashback Friday and my love for what this costume is made of. Everything in this I just love. We'll see you on the next Flashback Friday. Have a great weekend and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, there's a lot more to this channel, sewing, showing, and repair. Have a great one. Be safe. Bye.